Welcome back everyone, Grimer here coming at you from the Minecraft server once again. We are here people, we've made it. We are here at this wonderful land, uh, Da21 just uh, tried to swim in lava and he died. So uh, he's dead. Dead. Okay, so we're here though. This is where I'm going to be building uh, building my humble abode. Uh, it just turned daytime not too long ago, maybe about half a day ago. <clears throat> I've been uh, I've been basically just trying to sort some stuff out here. Like uh, I planted a bunch of sugar cane here along the side here. Basically, the entire stack of sugar cane I collected, I planted. And now what we're going to do is we're going to try to double that or more. Uh, basically, because I'm I'm going to try to get the enchanting table set up right away so I can enchant this bad boy. Uh, we do have a small bit of storage here. I collected some some extra stacks of cobblestone. Also, I started a strip mine. Um, yeah, just a basic one. I didn't even do any fancy like ladders or a drop or even the easily accessible water stuff I have here that could probably help me out to get down there. <clears throat> but I found this uh, I found this hole right here in the ground, and it just kind of abruptly ended right uh, here. So I dug down, and there's a big lava ravine down there. And I crossed it, because I don't really like lava ravines, especially when creepers like to dive bomb you. So, um, uh, I just crossed it. I looked in there, I couldn't see any diamonds, so I crossed it, and I broke like two blocks into the wall, and I found more diamonds there. So, there are diamonds down in them dare hills. Um, I didn't collect them, though, because I am trying to get fortune first to kind of increase that amount. Because I don't really need more diamonds. I have seven, that's enough to get what I need going, you know? I just need to collect some obsidian still, which there's plenty down there. And then I can uh, I can actually I can just start throwing some stuff in here. I gotta I gotta make some more storage here actually real quick because my inventory is a disaster and I ne kind of need some space to be able to do stuff. Let's knock out my torch here since I have my wonderful sign there. Um, I need some space to do some stuff, so let's just chuck all that stuff in there. Where did those arrows just go? I need those because in case I need to shoot something, which by the way I did have to shoot some stuff last night. There's a lot of creepers and whatnot. Hello, sheep. You are actually one of the things I want to talk about. All right, so there's sheep and there's cows here, which is good, because I think I might need some wool for what I have in mind. Either that or I'm going to need to make a bunch of concrete. Either way, though, I'm going to need the cows for sure. I'm also going to need to do a lot of landscaping in this area because I need a big kind of flat base for what I'm going to try to do. it. Because I need to get a starting elevation. Uh, 70 might be it. No, actually, it's going to be down at least one more. Maybe 69 uh maybe even one more 68 i need a big base because i'm going to be building something very very tall <laughs> which means there's a good chance that i'm going to die <laughs> when i fall off it. oh there's pumpkins over there i don't think i have those i think i i, I had to clear them and make room in my inventory hello mr zombie i did not notice there's a cave here goodbye mr zombie let me light this up so i don't have any more unwanted guests if i can i don't know if i have enough torches yeah i do the dead ends there too okay sweet no more unwanted guests um, I have not explored much in this area. Uh, according to the map, though, to the north and south of here, there should be villages, which is good because I kind of need to go raid those things and see what they have to offer. I would love to... In fact, let's go take a trip here. Let's go see if I can't find one. I would love to actually uh, find a villager that is selling mending. Actually, before I go running off into the distance, tra-la, tra -la, let me head back and grab the emeralds in case I do actually find something worth trading. <laughs> uh, the emeralds and the... Um, and a couple books in case they actually do have a mending book for sale. Because uh, I would love to throw that on my pickaxe. This is still the early game stages for me. I mean, I'm still just getting started. Uh, emeralds, like that. Books, like that. Got it. Alright. Um, this is still early early game for me. Now, actually, you know what? I'm, I'm on an ocean. Instead of running and wasting my hunger, why not just kind of hop in the boat? Doggy, puppers, you're in charge while I'm gone. Alright, let's... Uh, uh, I gotta get a name tag for that guy. We gotta officially name him Puppers. Um, Alright, now I'm gonna need a lot of this stuff, actually. I think a big portion of my off-camera time is gonna be spent uh, getting these. Because I'm gonna need a whole bunch of them. And Dolphin's Grace will allow me to swim faster. Yes, okay, there we go. Let's breathe. Uh, there's a couple right there that I didn't grab. Yeah, I'm going to need to collect a lot of those things. Unless I use wool, in which case then I could actually create a farm and then they're always black sheep. But I need black and grays and whites and I guess the insect doesn't help with white dye. But um, I need those kind of colors for what I have in store now. I don't actually know if I'm going the right way or not, but I think it's down this way. There should be a village. I should grab the sugar cane too while I'm here. There it is. There's a the village. I see it right there. Now, that, like I said, there's two villages. There's one to the north, one to the south. This would be the one to the south. Let me grab the boat too while I'm here. Snag the sugar cane too. Why not? 
And then let's head off in, into the village to see what they got to offer, what kind of goods they have to sell. Let's eat some bread real quick. And they have a lot of bread I can snag, too, so I have more food. Actually, I'm probably going to do that because I don't really have any way of growing stuff. What is this? This is a bee growable? What? Oh, melon stem. There it is. <laughs> I was looking at the wrong thing. That's a melon stem. Good. Melons in the area. I, I can't remember if I collected those on my journey or not. I don't think I did. Uh, let's just grab these uh, hay bales, though, because uh, that's food. That's easy food right there. Hello, Iron Golem, protecting the town. There's also cats, kitty cats. You are an unemployed person. There's a farmer. Farmers are good for making emeralds. What are you? You are unemployed as well. Oh, it's actually starting to get nighttime, so I might want to skip out on digging up all those things and seeing what I, what else I can find. Nothing really good there except for a hunk of bread. Um, yeah, because i got to get out of here before nighttime hits. So it looks like farmers. Is that it? Do you have anything in here? You have a grindstone. You could actually take that on as a profession. What's in here? Something? Uh, okay, a whole lot of random stuff. All right. There's a there's a stone cutter there, so you could uh, become a stone mason, which you are. You are a mason. Okay, so clay can t be turned into emeralds, which is nice. I could always go harvest up a bunch of that. I don't really need to worry about grabbing emeralds now since I have almost a stack. I just need to find a lectern. I could also make one and get... Uh, oh, excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. Oh, pardon me. Okay, that was weird. A saddle. I'll take it. That might come in handy one day. Uh, in fact, if I find a horse in the area, that would be very nice. Why is... Why? Why? <laughs> Land generation. Holy cow. Is he... Uh, he's like looking down... Oh, he's trying to get to the cauldron. I think you're trying to become a leather worker. Uh, leather pants. I don't really need. I'll leave those there. Grab those. Okay, the sun is starting to set. I think I might want to clear out of here before zombies come and kill all the villagers. And then I will check back in the daytime. I didn't see, like, a librarian, which sort of sucks. So I'm just going to leave this place. Uh, and I'll get to work on my, my area while, while the sun sets here. Might have to do a little bit of a fight night here, actually. so Because uh, uh, XP is still a thing I'm going to need to collect. Uh, I'm, I'm only at 31 levels, so I can do one high-level enchant. And that's it. Uh, so I'm going to need to get more experience. So fighting mobs at night is probably the way I'm going to do that. Until I get some kind of farm going for uh, getting experience. I don't even know which one I'm going to build, or if... I mean, I haven't found a dungeon in the area, obviously, so I don't really know. The other village is over that away, actually. Uh, so let's get back to my... Let's get back to puppers here, and let's start getting... Oh, there's some skeletons right there. That's that's called uh, free arrows right there. Free arrows and bones. Don't mind if I do. Let's go get these guys. Hoop. Ow. Done. Got him. All right, there you go. Bam. Got one whole bone out of that. Look at me go. Uh, all right, fight night, you think? Yeah, let's do... Oh, there's a witch. Let's do a fight night. Let's see if a witch poisoned me good. Oh, yeah, that's a long one, too. Let's get over here in the light and let this poison wear off. Nothing like being at one hit point. Oh, and a drown being here. Alright, poison war off. Let's get back to healing. I don't even think that witch dropped anything valuable. She dropped some sugar. Hello, creeper. I got basic weapons. Fear me. The biggest concern is I don't want to blow up any of the cows specifically. Those are the ones I got to keep alive. Fight night. Thanks for delivering these arrows. Oh, there goes my sword. Kind of probably should have prepared for that. <laughs> Zip back here quick and see if I can get geared up. Alright, back in action. Yes, get into a fight. Yes! Skeleton duel. Yes, get him. I want the XP, though. Oh, ouch. Ouch. I blocked that. I'm calling BS. I think I just got a bow there, too. 
Now, there are some Endermen there. I did not get a bow there. There are some Endermen there I wouldn't mind getting a pearl from. But I have to kind of get to a safe spot for that because uh, I don't really have very good armor on. <laughs> so... Ah, you know what? Screw it. I'm sure I can tank him. I'm just kidding. Actually. No, I can't tank him, but I'm sure I can outsmart him. Look at me, Enderman. That's right. Fear the water. No pearl. Need these guys to drop their balls already. Oh, yep. Got him. Okay, I got the spider on me too, unfortunately. Didn't mean to do that. I deal with the spider here before I deal with the Enderman. Thank you. Okay, that, this Enderman doesn't care about swimming, apparently. He's like, yeah, I, I love the water. Okay, zombie, do you mind? <laughs> I'm trying to kill his Enderman. I mean, he's doing a good job on his own, but... Look at this guy go. <laughs> he's, he does not care at all. Oh, there we go. He's on this island now back here. He's like, I love the water. And he did not drop his balls either. Dang it. Hopefully I get one. Because uh, I wouldn't mind getting an end chest up and running. I do have to, of course, go to the nether to accomplish that. Oh, skeleton. Give me that sweet XP, yo. Weaken him up a bit. Then go over there and give him love tap. I hear baby zombie. Baby zombie. Tally ho! In your face. And you're. Oh, missed him. Got him that time. Goodbye, baby zombie. Alright, let's soften up that creeper there just a wee bit. Let's see if I can't get the skeleton to shoot him. Oh, he shot him. He just didn't kill him. I got a spider being a problem for me. Oh, no. No, no. Zombie, I can't have you killing him. I'm trying to get a record disc. Spider! Piss off! <laughs> Somebody hit that creeper! Okay, good. They, they killed the spider, at least. Oh, come on. I was far enough away. Whoa, he didn't blow up any blocks. Do creepers not damage blocks on this server? I did not know that. I was far enough away. He shouldn't have blown up anyway. But, uh, yeah, well, you, that was actually kind of a success then. I learned that creepers don't actually damage blocks. I guess mob griefing is turned off. Oh, I shot the cow. No, don't shoot the cow. There, okay. Got him. I don't want to be shooting the cows. All right, so fight night is officially over, which means now I can head over to the other village. I didn't actually see any lectern and anything's over there, so I'm going to assume that there isn't any. I can always make one, bring it over there, and convert the villager over. That is something that I can do. It is, after all, Minecraft. You can do those things. All right, let's head. Oh, I only have uh, nine arrows. That's not great. It's <laughs> really not great. I, I wouldn't mind finding some chickens, actually. All right, let's head to the north here and see if we can't get our eyes on this other village. Maybe this one will have a, a, a mending villager in it. Uh, maybe this one will have some better stuff in it than that last one. The last one kind of sucked, not going to lie. Uh, I could always go dig up a, like a stupid amount of clay and sell it for emeralds to that one uh, mason guy. Like, there's clay right there. That's emeralds right there. Uh, let's go take a peek in here. Take the boat with me, too. Let's go see what these guys have to offer. Hello! Hello, person. What are you? You are unemployed. What can you be? A cartographer, huh? There's paper and a compass. I'll take some of those things. Sure, why not? I could use the paper. Um, for making bookshelves later. Nothing in there. Again, nothing in there except for a crafting bench and a red bed. There's a kitty cat. What are you? Whoa, you're noisy is what you are. A couple of those things are kind of unnecessary. There's some more melons there. Hmm. I'm not seeing anything that looks like a library in here. Looks like most of their crops got washed out. That's unfortunate. Okay, so there's some buildings up there, but I don't think those are... Um, I don't think those are what I'm looking for. Let's see if I can't use these waterfalls to get up there. Hey, I'm here. Melon seeds. Okay, some of them were melons that got washed out. So it looks like this water is from their farms, actually. Uh, some bread. Oh, he has a bunch of empty maps. I guess I'll take that in case I want to make a, uh, let me just remove the chest too. In case I want to make a, uh, like a, a map wall or something. There it is right there. I don't have to do anything. Uh, snag a couple more of these things. Sure, why not? Alright, this episode is all about getting established. I might actually go ahead and kill these cows since these ones I don't really care about because I'm over there, you know? 
Okay, so yeah, uh, let's let's check the rest of these buildings. Break my legs. Anything in here? Nope. Anything in here? Oops, I just, uh, I improved your house. <laughs> That's some weird generation. That's some really weird generation. Well, Iron Golem, I think this town is a bust. I think I did, I think I did check that place. I could grab some melons, too. I, mean, I have that melon seed that I just picked up, so I'm not really too worried about it. Aha! You, go. Talk to this thing. This thing right here. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Would you open the door? <laughs> Get out of the way. All right, what are you offering? Loyalty. That's not great. We're going to keep doing this until you are offering something of a little bit more value. I need to box this guy in so he stops wandering around aimlessly. Learn this thing. Is this guy coming over to learn it? He is. What are you offering? Looting too. That's not bad. That's not great either. All right, we're going to do a little of this right here. You're not going nowhere, buddy. Not until uh, not until I get some mending or something. Oops. All right, you and me are gonna have a little talk. <laughs> oh my god, I'm not gonna have enough room to place this thing. There we go. What do you got? Channeling. Okay, this might take a little bit. Sharpness four isn't bad. Bane of crap. Feather falling three isn't too shabby. Unbreaking two isn't too bad. Respiration not too shabby. We're looking for that sweet, sweet mending. Infinity's pretty good, but not mending. For the love of God, would you change your trades already? Mending for really, really expensive. Okay. I'm going to keep going. <laughs> I want something cheaper than that. That's really, really pricey. I think that's like the most expensive. Curse of Vanishing, what a deal. Like, it doesn't even have to be the cheapest. I'm not worried if it's in the teens or something. Like, if it's like 20, that'd be great. Knockback 2, pretty garbage. I never actually want to have knockback on anything. Mending, 16 emeralds, that's what I'm talking about. All right, sweet, let's make this trade. Bam. In fact, we're going to make this trade a couple of times. Until you really... Oh, and I need two more emeralds. Okay, good to know. You are officially my mending villager. Oh, 15 emeralds now. That's what I'm talking Oh, I need one more. Hmm. Okay, you just stay right there. Let me go see if I can find a farmer real fast. Are there no farmers around here? There might not be one, actually, because all the stuff got washed out. I don't actually know how to make a composting bin, because I rarely ever do that. I think it has to do with fence posts, though, but I think I should probably... Did I cut down all... I took down all my wood. <laughs> I think I stored away all my wood. Okay, I think it requires, um, it requires fence posts, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it's in here. Composting bin. God, I don't, it's not in here. Of course it's not in here. Maybe I need slabs, too. Aha! Yep, I do. Where is it? It, it says new recipe. It says it right here. <laughs> where, where is the thing? Why do I not, why do I not see it? Where's the composting bin? Uh, search. Compost that thing. What do I need? Oh, it's just like I don't need fence posts at all. I thought for sure it took fence posts. Maybe that's an old recipe I'm thinking of. See, I can't really sleep, so let's go find a village. Oh yeah, defend this house. Here, dude, you want to be a farmer? I bet you want to be a farmer. You probably want to sleep actually, but look at the thing. Yeah, I bet you he's trying to find a bed. Maybe I should come back. Ooh, actually, you know what? I really need to do. I need to get this off the screen. I need to go over there and put a light in here so that some terrible, terrible stuff doesn't spawn in here. Yeah, and kill him. Cover that up completely. There we go. He should be safe-ish. Let's cover the corners too, just to be safe. Let's get rid of uh, that thing because that's going to be a problem for me. Sometimes zombies can get them through corners. I'm going to make sure that the corners are all plugged up. All right, good. Now he'll probably want to sleep to uh, reset his trades and stuff like that, but he's not maxed out yet. I got three mending books, which isn't too shabby. Uh, I think I'm just gonna get out of here. Oh, ooh, I got to get out of the way of that guy. He's he's on a mission. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of here. You want to finish him off, bro? Good, good. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. And let these guys live in peace. Oh, there's a bunch of creepers on the shoreline. I'll be back for more mending books. But now that I have that established, I can just use it whenever I want. I think there's a drowned right there. Yep. <laughs> Go back to my place, have another fight night, get some more levels, and start up a cow farm, I think is my, my next goal. Okay, so I've get, I got the sugar cane growing. I got uh, a place where I can get mending books. <clears throat> now I just have to get some really good enchants going. So to do that, I need to uh, to make a cow farm so I can get some more leather. Uh, it can all be temporary. I do have a, I technically have a silk touch item. That's my gold shovel that I found on the way here. Um, so I could pick up the, the bookshelves once they're done. 
So, um, I'm not too worried about that. I should make another... Oh, there's a little guy coming in. There's also a guy in the water here. Excuse me, pardon me. Little guy, I need you to go away. I'm kind of in the process of trying to get geared up so I can come kill more of your kind. Is that alright with you? Let me reset the, uh, the counter for the, the, uh, phantoms. Let's go ahead and squirt a bunch of seeds in here. Realize how dirty that sounded. I didn't mean for it to be. <laughs> and let's go down here. Let's rumble. Let's rumble down here where I'm safe. I say safe, but there's a trident guy in the water. I'm totally screwed. No balls! Man! What's the, what, what's the guy got to do to get some balls around here? <laughs> And it's daytime. They slept. <laughs> Let's see. I, I have five whole arrows. I gotta go on the hunt for some chickens. All right. So cow farm, people. That's what I really need to get. The sugar cane is growing nicely. I'm gonna have plenty of uh, paper. Oh, there's a skeleton right here. I'm like, what's shooting at me? Uh, I'm gonna have plenty of paper, so I'm not worried about that. But uh, cows, I don't have a whole lot of. So what I need to do is I need to create fences for, to put these guys in, so that I have something. I did get another junk bow there too, but at least I can use that to repair mine completely. Bam. Full power. Oh, no. Merlin. Merlin. Little realm. Rem. Wow, I'm terrible at names. Slain by zombi zombified pigmen. Rip. Um, I do need to... I do want to get over there and get a mending book real quick. Uh, let me... Yeah, let me do that real fast, actually. Bunch of y'all are unemployed, so somebody better have clicked on that, uh, that composting bin. I don't think anyone has. You're still unemployed. Oh, no. You're a leather worker. No, you're unemployed. Here, look at this. Look at this thing. Stay out of there. No, no, no. You're not going to be a cartographer today. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Awesome. All right. Uh, wheat you're looking for. I'm, I need you to, like, want something else. So can you just, like, go for something else? Beetroots. Thank you for going for something else. Not what I was looking for. Actually, I do have wheat. I could actually do this. Hold on. There it is. Carrots. I just need one emerald. Okay. Thank you. That's all I needed. All right, I'm going to leave him be like that, and then maybe I'll be able to start a big, massive carrot farm. Hello, my friend. Holy crap. <laughs> Hello, my friend. Uh, okay, sweet. You're still selling these things. That's what I like to see. Let's squirt those things in there. I'll take that additional mending book. Thank you very much. Let me see if I can't get you a bed, and we'll just keep you in there forever. I see one. I see an orange one. All right, let's go give this guy a nice little place to rest his head here in this cobblestone box. <laughs> let's uh, let's get these guys here. Let's get this guy there. Okay. And then let's uh, bash him into the corner. See if I can't squirt that there real fast. And let's see if I can't bust my way out of here real fast and leave him in there. Good, like that. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically create a small little shop for him there. <laughs> like... <laughs> Uh, that way I can come back and trade with them whenever. Uh, I could also try to do Hero of the Village on this area, and then I'll get really cheap prices. Uh, I don't have wood again. Uh, who would have thought that would have been important? I'm about to go remove that door off that one building, because holy cow are they annoying with it. So I don't want villagers, or I don't want uh, zombies or baby zombies to get in there, basically, is what my, uh, my what my dilemma is. So what I'm going to do is uh, fall one stick short and then make this. I'm going to put a couple of fence gates in there. Bam. That should keep them out of there. So as long as I keep them closed, I should be able to open this. Oh no, I can't actually. Can I? Oh crap. Okay, hold on. There's a problem. There's a flaw in my plan. Alright, so here's here's plan B. <laughs> We're going to... Uh, actually, let's put them connected to the top. We're going to do a little of this. And then we're going to break these. There it is. Now we can trade with them. Good, like that. All right, now the problem is there's uh, no light source in there, so we're going to do that. That way uh, nothing terrible evil gets them. That should allow me to come over there and trade with them whenever, and it should keep them safe from zombies and terrible things. All right, back to creating the cow farm now. Okay, the sun is going down, which means that we don't have a lot of time to do this. Uh, let me start spreading the love here with the torches a little bit so that maybe we can keep some of the mobs back. And I also got to flatten out some stuff. I guess I'm more worried about doing the survival stuff more so than the building in this episode because I need to get some stuff basically functioning. All right, this should be enough space to actually create a good old-fashioned cow farm. Let's uh, dump a bucket of water down here and get rid of a lot of the grass and the torches. That's the downside. Still the best lawnmower in the game is water. All right, let's get to, uh, let's get to placing some of these things. 
I don't need anything fancy. Oh, that's... Well, I need something at least square would be nice. I don't need anything fancy. I just need a place... Cheapers. <laughs> I just need a place to, uh, to pen these guys up for right now. And create a nice big quantity of, uh, of cows. Alright, so something like that should work just fine. Let's go ahead and uh, drop a couple of these guys in there. Sheep, I will make you a pen as well. Actually, you know what? I will make you a pen as well, and I'll steal one of these things to do it. I am having some trouble placing some things. So sheep, I don't mind collecting because uh, I'm, I'm, planning, I'm planning on using them to, uh, to create some uh, black blocks that I might need for the build that I'm planning on. All right, so now getting these guys separated is going to be a real problem. Do I have any leads? I don't remember if I got any leads or anything to even make leads along the way. I didn't see any wandering traders, so that's a new. All right, well, uh, let's get the horny makers here, and that's, <laughs> that's the wheat. And we're going to get everybody on this, so I'm going to have to try to separate them out uh, somehow. Maybe I'll punch ones to get them away. Got a whole herd of animals coming in here. All right, sheep, go, 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 go. Okay, I, I killed the sheep somehow. Sheep, you are in the way. Oh my gosh, get in here. <laughs> close the door, close it. Okay, got it. You guys, get to breeding. I didn't actually mean to kill that other sheep, but hey. Okay, we got a skeleton in the area I gotta deal with real fast. As well as apparently a spider. Alright, now sheep. This way. You two over here. Actually, you three. Okay, one of them lost interest. Hey, I got the horny maker. Okay, you're dead. <laughs> oh, no, he's coming. All right, come on, you last two. I don't want to wait all night. Good. Let's get it on over here. Sweet, nothing like leveling up by watching animals get it on. All right, let's, uh, let's get some lights around here so nothing terrible spawns around these guys. All right, good. Got the cows uh, penned up, got the sheep penned up. We are really kicking some butt now. All right, now it's all about just breeding up the animals. So I'm gonna do a little uh, little cut here, and uh, when I come back, hopefully I'll have a, hopefully this creeper will piss off. I'm gonna do a cut here, and once I come back, um, hopefully I'll have a bunch of cows bred up. I'm gonna basically do a lot off camera here just to breed up the cows. It's the only thing I'm gonna be doing, just chilling here, breeding cows, lighting up. Maybe do a little terraforming on the land here to flatten this hill out right here, because I kind of want everything down to this elevation. So it's uh, level 69. Should be fine for what I'm going for. I got to do a little bit of math. Oh, there's a lot of stuff that way. Got to do a little, <laughs> little bit of math and figure out um, how wide a base I need for my build and how tall. Well, it's got to be build limit. Uh, I know that, but I got to figure out uh, how tall I need to actually go with this. So here, let's do a little jump here and see what progress I can make. All right, check out what I got going on. Did a lot of flattening here. Gotten rid of a, got rid of a lot of mountains, a lot of dirt. Got some pumpkins going because uh, that farm over there is going to take pumpkins for emeralds. Still trying to get enough mending books to cover all my gear. Got four of them. I think I have enough for one more, so five. So I need, I don't know, if I could get like ten, that would probably make me happy. But check out all these cows. Isn't that nuts? I got a lot of cows in here. All right, so I am going to snag some wheat so that I can control them. Uh, I just bred them up a little bit. So let's just get a few pieces of wheat in here so I can get in there and start murdering them. Now, remember this gold looting sword that we got on the way here? I'm going to try to use it on these cows if I can. Uh, uh, uh. Cows are escaping. Cows are escaping. All right, I might just have to let them roll. Oh, Jesus. Okay, come on, everyone, out of there, out of there. Oh, see, they're killing themselves because the the entity cramming. I'm basically going to leave the little ones, and I'm going to... Let me see if I can get in here. Everyone, back inside. <laughs> Uh, they're killing themselves with entity cramming, so I'm like, I think it's time for me to, uh, to, uh, to hurt, uh, thin the herd a bit. Got it. Alright, sweet, I'm in here. So I'm gonna just keep going until hopefully I get enough leather. So, let me go see if I can't repair this thing a little bit, if I can get to the egg, uh, where's the entrance? Here it is. <laughs> okay, mister, I hear you back there. I hear a, I hear a drowned. Now, let's keep on killing. Free durability. Two durability, I'll leave that one adult in there to keep the, the babies in the corner there, huddling up against it there. There, that wasn't too shabby. That's 105 leather. Uh, not bad, considering the fact that uh, that was my first harvest. <laughs> harvest. I also got a whole bunch of stacks of food, too, so now I got food for days. Awesome. That is great news. All right, so now I have to go collect a bunch of wood. But speaking of enchanting, I need to get down and collect some obsidian to even be able to do that. So let me just drop all this stuff in here. I also only have six, six iron left, so that's not good. 
All right, little interruption there. We had the server kind of crash on us. One thing that I know that annoys a lot of people, and it annoys me as well, is uh, is when the the <laughs> your uh, tunnel down, you clothesline yourself the entire time. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of widen or uh, raise the roof a little bit on this so that I don't do that. All right, so down here, this is where I have a bunch of a uh, bunch of obsidian that I can collect. So I'm gonna go ahead and snag some of this here while I'm here, uh, and this should. Oops, something just jumped down. That was a poor choice, zombie. <laughs> this should allow me to get my enchanting table set up. Might as well grab a little bit more while I'm down here just so I can get my uh, my uh, nether portal up and running as well. Alright, and then I just need... Now that I have 14, I, I just need another 8 for my... Uh, for my end chest once I eventually get that up and running and that should be about all I need to grab for this time around I can always come back later once I have efficiency up and running and uh, and snag a whole lot more uh, but for right now I think this is all I'm gonna need to grab from this uh, this little pile here all right that should be it now got got to get back up here and start uh, start harvesting up some trees because I want to get my enchants up and running at least at least get a good pickaxe up and running in this episode hey cool iron at least get the uh, good uh, pickaxe up and running in this episode. That way, a yeah, fortune would be nice, actually, if I could get my hands on a fortune pick. Um, I don't have any diamonds, so I'm not sure if uh, if I'm going to be able to get it. But if I get lucky on the first try, I got, what, like, three attempts I got before I run out of experience levels. So uh, if I get lucky on the first try, then I don't have to worry about it. And I can go d back down to my strip mine, gather up the diamonds I've already discovered. Um, and then that should be good. Uh, let me go grab a bunch of wood here, and then hopefully I'll be able to uh, get this enchanting set up, at least to get a max power enchant in this episode. Oh, hey, check that out. There's some horses right over there. Nifty. Maybe I can use those to get around here a little bit faster. All right, it's getting nighttime, and I've got... Uh, Ah, 44 saplings. That should be enough to create a farm over here as well. Uh, but I also did collect, uh, what, like over two and a half stacks of, uh, of logs there. So that should be enough, I'm thinking, to actually make... Ooh, I got a creeper on my tail. <laughs> to make uh, uh, to make all the bookshelves. I'm just going to try to run away from this guy for right now. I got more important things to do than to deal with that creeper. I'll, uh, however, I will deal with that skeleton because one, he's kind of in my neck of the woods. And I need the, uh, I need the arrows. Thank you. Uh, did I get the XP from him or not? I don't know. I didn't hear it. But, alright. So, now i got to create a little uh, little place. I'm probably just going to do it here on the surface. Now, this area right here is where I'm going to probably be building my main build. So, this is all temporary stuff that I have set up right here. This isn't permanent. This is just something I'm doing right now. Just to, uh, uh, just to gather some supplies, some necessities for the future so I can get established. What do I hear? I hear a terrible thing. Um, so, I think we're just going to set up, like, the enchanting table, like, right here. <laughs> like, it's going to be right next to uh, the animals. I don't need to be anything fancy. Excuse me, mister, you're interrupting me. Um, those pumpkins are growing like crazy. Um, which is a good thing. So, I'm going to go over here and probably set this up here. So, let's get the, uh, let's get the reeds I need right here, right? These things. And, uh, oh my god, there's another one. There's another terrible thing in the water. Is that all you got? All right. <laughs> So let's get over here. I got some reeds now, or some sugar cane. Let's get uh, let's get to crafting some books. Oh my gosh, why? <laughs> I just want to build an enchanting table. Okay, anyone else? <laughs> okay, it's a dolphin in the water. Let's get over here <laughs> and build some books, shall we? Let's go ahead and make ourselves. A few more books. All right, so I think that's uh, too many, but that's okay because I'm going to need them to trade for uh, for mending anyway, so that's fine. All right, so now I need a couple of diamonds. Let's get this knocked out and out of the way. A very important thing to get in Minecraft is, of course, the enchanting table. Bam, got it. All right, so now bookshelves. Uh, let's take a half a stack of this and see how many that can actually make. Uh, oh, there they were right there. 16. I don't actually need 16. I only need 15, so I'm going to make... 15 and that was uh i got a couple extra books after that sorry it's no problem extra books didn't hurt anything need them for the mending trade anyway so uh let's go ahead and slap these bad boys down up here any villagers or any not villagers any zombies trying to ruin my day all right let's slap that bad boy down there and let's start powering this bad boy up whoops oh crap 
Good. Max power enchanting table. That's what I like to see. All right, now lapis. Do I have lapis? I think I have lapis. Yeah, I do. I have a little bit of lapis. All right. Let's see if I can't get a good enchant on this thing. What do I got? Efficiency four isn't too shabby. I might as well take a roll on it. Ha ha! There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That is called good old fashioned luck. <laughs> All right, so we got our fortune pick, just like that, no problem. Now, the reason why I care about that is because now I can go do some serious diamond mining, uh, because I actually already did find some diamonds. So here's the diamonds I found, right next to lava, totally safe. Uh, definitely not gonna uh, kill me. <laughs> Let me make sure it's uncovered on all sides, at least saw it. All right, so it looks like there's one, two, three, four there, so let's just see how many I actually end up getting. Uh, one, not great, two, uh, oh, there we go. I already got more than the four. Oh, there's five actually here. Okay, so I don't know what's underneath this thing. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. But uh, go ahead and do that. And, uh... Let's just play... Oh, let's play this really safe, actually. And do that. Alright, let's uh, grab this. Bam, got it. Alright, nice. Like that. There's some redstone there, too, but I'm not too worried about it. Alright, so that, uh, out of uh, five, I got 11. That's not too shabby. If I can always double my, uh... uh that what's, what's there, I always think that that's a win. All right, back here on the surface, there is still another pickaxe I wouldn't mind getting. I wouldn't mind getting a silk touch pickaxe, of course, um, before I start worrying about uh, things like uh, adding mending to it and stuff and using levels for that. So let's get another pickaxe going here and see if I can't get myself some silk touch action on it. Uh, efficiency 4, again, it's a really good one. It could end up being just a really good work pick, and it is. It's a really good work pick. All right, not too upset about that. I'll use that for doing a lot of the strip mining, I think. Um... And use that thing up and then once it's almost done you can always add it to another one to get uh efficiency five on something so it's not like that was a terrible pickaxe to get that's that's all right i'm, I'm fine with that let's make another one all right let's uh, i got one more sh shot at this here we're looking for silk touch on breaking three is not too shabby yeah let's try it okay it's another good work pick okay so that kind of sucks but when i do get the silk touch pick i can combine this one to that one, and then the silk touch one once I actually end up getting it. And that'll give me uh, the thing I need. Now, I only have 28 levels, which means I don't have enough to do another pickaxe enchant. Plus, uh, I'm kind of running a little low on diamonds there. So, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap this episode up. I got the bare necessities done. I'm going to wrap this episode up, and uh, and I'm going to get to work on doing some strip mining and gaining uh, and grabbing some supplies. Strip mining has got to be one of the most boring things, I think, to watch on YouTube. So, I'm not going to do it for you guys. I'm going to just do that on my own. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, please be sure to smash that like button. And uh, thank you guys so much for donating your eyeballs and your holes to this episode. I will catch you guys in the next one where I'm going to probably start laying the foundations for what I want. If not, I'm going to just start going to the nether and doing some crazy stuff there. I don't know. I'll decide. I'll decide on that uh, next week. So thank you again for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>